Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another Ableton Live video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to get video support on a Windows 64-bit system. Normally, Windows 64-bit system doesn't come with the correct codecs and the correct demuxer to allow Ableton Live to show and run video inside of it. Ableton Live only uses the .mov container file, so we need to install a couple of things to get it up and running. Usually, you're gonna see this error if you have a Windows 64-bit system and you're getting frustrated because you see this error. And I'm gonna use a PNG file, but the error will be the same. If you look down at the bottom of the screen right now, it says that the file might be corrupt or unlicensed. That's not the case if you're trying to drop a .mov file into Ableton Live. The problem has to do with codecs and the demuxer. So uh, the first thing you, you would think to do is to install QuickTime Video. But I did that and I still couldn't get my video to go and I thought maybe it was a problem with Ableton, uh, Ableton Live or something like that. So. I did a bit of digging and it turns out it has to do with Windows 64, what a surprise. So there are two things we need to download. We need to download a demuxer, which is the thing that decodes the container file, which is .mov, .mkv, .avi, that's called the container file. And in that container file, there are two or more other files that need to be further decoded, which are called codecs, which one is gonna be for the audio, one's gonna be for the video. And so we need to install two things. We need to install the program that can read the .mov and the program that can read the codecs contained inside of it. Now you might get away with just installing the demuxer, which allows Windows 64 to read the .mov. So I would suggest maybe trying that first, but if you continue to get to error, go ahead and install the codec pack, which is kind of an all-in-one type deal. Links to everything are on the blog and also better explanations of what everything is and what everything is doing. Also, side note, uh, these are programs recommended by Ableton itself. It's not, these aren't th programs that I downloaded off the cuff. These are recommended by Ableton. So that's how I know about them. So you can trust the links. The first program we're gonna download is the Holly Media Splitter and it's got Matroska is its name. And this is the demuxer. This is going to read the .mov file. So what I suggest is downloading this and installing it first and trying to import video in Tableton Live. If that works, you're good to go. You don't have to go to the next step. If it doesn't work and you're still getting that error, you should go to the FFD Show all-in-one codec pack and download the 64-bit version. Again, links on the blog. Download those, install them, and then go back into Ableton Live and you should be able to import a video into the project. You don't need to reboot your computer or anything like that, or at least I didn't have to. So download them, install them, run video, make sound effects, make a soundtrack, do what you want to do. Anyway, I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. Peace.